What up y'all out on the farm, you know what I'm saying? And right now I am using this little, and I gotta tell you, if you're gonna live off grid and you're gonna have to think about one, number one thing is uh, how are you getting your water? Are you collecting your water? Are you bringing it in? How are you gonna do that? And so this is, uh, this is what I got set up here. And I uh, pulled in some water in this 55 gallon tank here. I filled it up. Uh, at my uh, folks place and then I, I bring it on down here and we got this little marine utility pump that can hook up to a 12 volt battery and I'm pulling water out of the barrel here and I'm filling up uh, a couple of them uh, over here uh, so so yeah this is one thing to think about uh, being off grid is just how you're going to get your water and uh, you're going to bring it in you're going to be collecting it, and uh, there you go. Here's a little example of what you could do uh, to bring in some water. So there you go. It's 55 gallons, and pull it in with the truck and the trailer, and we're using the trailer battery over here to pump water out. So hope all everybody's doing all right through this uh, corona, this rona lyris, and hope y'all are... Stay positive, stay positive every day, and don't let this get you down. Use that energy, use that, use that righteous anger that you have right now to start something. <laughs> and start something no matter where you are. <laughs> you could be in an apartment, you can, you can live in the city, uh, you don't have to be out in the country, you know, just get, get a potted plant, get something started. Now, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I got to say. And just, just remind yourself that you are a powerful, powerful person. A uh, mantra that I, I like to tell myself is, I will be an inextinguishable light of possibilities for myself and others. <laughs> and so, I, I love you all. <laughs> got more videos like this, and, and I really uh, want to, I actually start a video series where I do some of these walk and talks and kind of talk. Uh, I like that format <laughs> and kind of be a little bit of a stream of consciousness, keep you keep you updated on what I got going on, and uh, and also give a little, hopefully a little word of wisdom or something daily, a little, a little daily motivation. So love y'all and. Uh, Hope everybody, uh, bless everybody with the best. I just did an interview, a great interview with uh, uh, Paul Paul Chermuck, and he is started a started up something called AgorisClub.com. For all my fellow agorists out there, uh, I know I uh, I need some help, and and I can need some, I need I can use some help uh, figuring out how how to get a successful operation going. Uh, my big goal is to, to teach workshops and to, to bring people out on the property and do some, do some different uh, projects together and show what's going on, build a community and strengthen people with more skills and, and empowerment and knowledge and, um, and uh, to build a better world, to not wait for somebody else to, to fix things but to create the create the better systems that make this current one obsolete. So, love you guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.